All right, I'm back again for another quick episode. So I'm going to probably be doing some... All right, I'm a big fan of Ubisoft and quite a lot of the games that they bring out nowadays. Now, I might do one of the first division. i do some video clips and stuff like um, restart number one and then do number two as well. But I just got this today, guys and girls. The Division 2. Now, if you go into Sainsbury's, they sell it for like 50 quid or something, 50 pound. Um, but because I, I wouldn't say that's worth 50 quid for the Division because I haven't played it yet. So I don't know what it's like graphically. But apparently on the back, you got Xbox One Enhanced. It's 4K Ultra HD, high dynamic range, means it's HDR, which uh, means the colours, the brightness, the dynamic range of the colours is wide. Uh, the gamma is wide on it. It's got Dolby Atmos as well. We've got uh, Xbox Single Player, Xbox Live Multiplayer, Xbox uh, Live Co-op Multiplayer. And then it's uh, got here... What's this? Washington DC is on the brink of collapse and we have reached a defining moment in history. As an agent of the division, you are the last line of defense. The only hope to rebuild society. So basically it carries on from the first one. Uh, history will remember. So yeah, I like Tom Clancy um, films and I like the actual games as well. And they're pretty worth picking up uh, from time to time. Um, that one actually cost uh, 38. Uh, normally in Sainsbury's it's 50. If you go into Sainsbury's it's 50 quid. But because this one here. Um, they've got this from Argos. They're sending it for 38 quid I think it was. So it's a lot cheaper. Uh, you could get it off CD keys. And I presume it would be even cheaper. But I'm not too sure. So you just got to look up and all that. But it's uh, without cd keys i don't know if it's just codes you get to download it only onto the system uh or not actually and also guys and girls uh they got a new xbox coming out uh soon i'm not too sure when it is but a new xbox one and it's going to be a diskless one as well there's um the disk drive on it there's not going to be a disk drive so you don't put the disc in all the games you want to play you'll have to download them onto the hard drive this is uh, this is iteration um i wouldn't say it's an iteration actually it's more um exactly the same sort of the xbox one s version but or the stand yeah the s version but it's without the disc tray in it so in a way for some people out there it would be much easier if you just want to put a hard drive in just download the games onto the systems and you're all happy to go in and all that but I prefer actually keeping my discs. I prefer keeping those there. And eventually, they're all killing off all the games soon. All the, the actual disc versions of the games. Because everything is going all digital. And it's a really shame, really. Because people won't be able to like feel the same way as going into a shop. And purchasing a game which actually is really good and it's much healthier i think in a way we are becoming more unhealthy every single time that we go to buy stuff online and then just that um we don't do any exercise and all that we don't go down to the shop we don't socialize uh with people i mean you only socialize with people online if you're playing video games with them uh that in its sense is mentally not good at all it's not very good for your mental health that's why we really need to try and encourage people or companies and game companies to carry on making discs games for like these systems for the playstation or xbox one or whatever console you buy or whatever system you buy to be honest um we just need to carry on buying discs i know that they said it's uh unethical by actually having discs because it clutters up the place but then again that's why you go around you resell them and stuff you resell the discs and the games and stuff and then you get more and then you get different ones and if you don't want those ones you sell those for money and then you get some money for it so it's um on and off but anyway 
let us know in the comments below, guys and girls. Do you think uh, it's good to go all digital? Or do you think we are, like, doomed um, and should keep the digital, uh, the non-digital games as well, the physical copies of the games? Let us know in the comments below. Cheers all for watching, guys and girls. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next episode.